caschetto, dammi un caschetto. Actually, the paroxysm was anticipated by an anomalous seismic signal, but only a few tens of seconds before. During the paroxysm, we observed the emplacement of pyroclastic density currents, along with the emission of bombs and ash towards the southern side of the island and the village of Ginostra. Scoria, pumices and also lithic bombs reached the village and destroyed some houses and constructions. Luckily, very few people were living in the island at that time, and nobody was injured. Unfortunately, most of the instruments positioned in the crater's area were destroyed. A couple of hours later, the lava is flowing again on the top of the pyroclastic products accumulated on the lava field in the landslide scarp. The 6th and 10th of April at night, the seismic network record two more signals comparable in shape and frequency, but not in amplitude to the anomalous signal of April the 5th. For security reasons, in the next days nobody worked in the crater's area, and we concentrated our efforts on mapping and sampling the fall deposits emplaced on the south slope of the volcano. On April the 14th, in agreement with the Italian Civil Protection Service and with the helicopter pilots, we decided to survey the crater's area and the lava field. Around the craters we found lithics up to a few meters large and scoria up to one meter large. All the crater area was covered by a scoria fall deposit up to 50 centimeters thick and the instruments were seriously damaged or destroyed. The lava field is covered by a pyroclastic density current, not outcropping in the crater's area. On the lava field we now observed presence of hornitos and significant degassing. Thank you. 
In the next weeks, even if at a reduced emission rate, the lava keeps flowing from old and new vents. In May, we observe new fractures and record deformation on the lava field. At the end of May, the scoria flow deposits outcropping on the lava field is completely covered by new lava flows. Meanwhile, we gradually replace all the instruments destroyed during the paroxysm. we often observe ash emissions. In the next months, the lava emission rate is lower and lower. July the 21st, the effusive activity stops and a few weeks later Stromboli goes back to its spectacular Strombolian activity. <laughs> 